Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a basic problem on section of solid. The problem which we are going to see today is section of square prism. So, I will be initially explaining the question. Then I will explain how to write the given data. After that, we will solve the problem step by step. Previously, I have solved uh, 4 to 5 problems in section of solid. So, those who haven't watched, kindly watch all those videos so that you will be having a better understanding. And uh, in section of solid, I think so, 9 to 10 problems will be there. In development, 10 problems will be there. So, I hope I would upload all those problems. Hopefully, uh, let's hope for the best. And today, just we move on with the problem. So, this one is a square prism of height 80 mm and base of diagonal 40 mm so what type of solid which we are going to draw will be a square solid is a square prism mean the base diagram will be a square so square means we can draw the square either this way or this way so either these two type we can draw any way so this one will be one and this is two so we have to conclude how we can conclude is see uh, they haven't given the uh, square square as the base it's actually diagonal so it's not base it's uh, diagonal okay so it's a diagonal and uh, 40 mm right so square prism diagonal is 40 mm and height is 80 mm so square will be having diagonal if the diagonal means this is the diagonal just see here we call this are the diagonal and these are the diagonal so this one is 40 okay and height is uh, 80 mm then what else they have given and they clearly said that it rests on hp so resting will be on hp and uh, with the base it just equally inclined equally inclined means just see here if this is the base means if this is equally inclined so 45 degree 45 degree so it's equally inclined means we have to consider only we will be going with this type of diagram okay the second one so what kind of base diagram we going to draw? We are going to use the square as this one and diagonal is 40. Clearly they mentioned it's not the base. It's not the base, it's diagonal. So both the diagonals are, we will be measuring 40. How we will be drawing? Just draw a line for 40 mm. Keep a midpoint. So 20, 20. Just join all the sides. Okay. So this is 40. See here. This is 40. This is 40. Just connect all the points. So like that only you will be drawing the base diagram. And regarding the cutting plane, what they said is it is cut by a section plane passing to the midpoint. So the cutting plane will be passing to the midpoint of the square prism. Okay. Then what else? Per, per, midpoint, or, midpoint of the axis of the prism perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Find the inclination of the cutting plane. Uh, if the true shape of the section is rhombus. So it's very very important you have to underline this one. You see here the true shape of the section is a rhombus. Rhombus having the diagonal 60 and 40. I have specially mentioned here. So it's a special type of problem. Rhombus diagonal will be 60 and 40. The whatever true shape you will be getting will be a rhombus. It will be having the diagonal as 60 and 40. So this is the what this is these are the things which they gave in the question and this is the way we need to write the given data and uh, for starting the question for drawing the base diagram, I have clearly explained how to draw. Now I will just uh, tell how to draw the base diagram. So the base diagram we have to draw like this. First step is draw the reference line mark X, Y, V, P, H, P. As I said before, the diagonal is 40. So this is 40. Okay, this measurement is 40. Draw the line for 40. Bisect the line. Then 20, 20 on both the side. Just join all the corners. So diagonal is only 40, not the base. So this is the way we need to draw the base diagram for the top view. This is the top view. Then we will be extending all the top view points so that we can get the front view of the square prism. The next step is we are going to draw the front view. So you know very well from this point, from this point you have to take a point. And I think so I am using naming. See this is a square prism in top surface will be A, B, C and bottom surface will be P, Q, R, S. So A, B, C, D. Bottom BQRS, T, Q, R, S. So you extend all the top view points so that you can get the front view points. So when you keep your scale, you can get a point. If you keep a scale vertical, you get a point. If you keep a scale, you can get a point. So from here, from the axis, 
height of the axis is 80 from here you have to draw the line so here we can't mark the axis since we are having the visible edges we will be giving preferences for visible edges so draw draw the line for the height of ADM from this point from the reference line this is the reference line from here you have to draw a line for ADM just uh, join all, all the line all the lines all the three lines will be ADM just draw the box Naming you just see top surface ABCD bottom is PQRS. So here when you see from here you can see A right. So A dash you can see B but you can't see D. So B dash drag a D dash. You can see C so C dash. You can see P so P dash. You can see Q but you can't see S. So Q dash bracket S dash. You can see R so R dash. So right now we have completed the front view and top view. Now I will explain how to do the cutting plane. So cutting plane what they gave is the cutting plane will be meeting the axis at the midpoint so 80 means 40 will be the midpoint of the axis so the cutting plane will be meeting at this point since we want to get the rhombus as a diagonal 60 and 40 take your compass take your compass measure 30 if the diagonal is 60 means 30 30 if the diagonal is 80 means 40 40 okay since they gave 60 take your compass measure 30 mm in your compass keep your compass center here cut an arc here you will be getting a point Keep your compass here and cut an arc here. Okay, keep your compass here and cut an arc. You will be getting another point. So now we got three points, right? Just join all the points so that you will be drawing the cutting plane. And then I will explain cutting points. So next step is just draw, connect all the three points so that you will be forming the cutting plane. Leave one mm gap and extend the cutting plane. Here also leave one mm, one mm gap and extend the cutting plane. How we have to name the cutting point is a dash and p dash will be getting one cutting point b dash and q dash one cutting point d dash and s dash one cutting point c dash and uh, r dash one cutting point so one cutting point two cutting points one cutting point see how i am naming one dash two dash three dash back side reverse four dash since d dash and s dash is uh, hidden right back side so we can't see so we are marking it in our uh, bracket so next step was once you drawn, the cutting plane should be drawn with your HP pencil. Naming or not, you should write in your HP pencil. And uh, next, what they are asking is, they are asking us to find the sectional top view. Okay. So, just see here. Just extend this one dash point vertically. So, one dash is between A dash and P dash. So, A, P are same point. So, here we will get one. Two dash is between B and Q. So, here we will be getting two. Three dash is between C and R. So, C, between C and three, third point. D and D dash, uh, 4 dash is between D dash and S dash. So, 4th point. So, since we are getting all the points on the same point itself, between A and B, 1, B and Q, 2. So, we have to mark the point and name it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, we have to do hatching. See how I am doing hatching. So, just draw a line and for 45 degree, this angle will be 45 degree. So this angle is 45 degree. You have to draw all the pa lines parallel to it. Anywhere you can draw, even you can draw here. And after drawing it, you can rub it off. Okay, it's for our reference only. So this is called hatching. Hatching means what? Means since we have cut the portion right. So after cut, after the portion is cut, only the remaining part will be here. You have to darken this one. Okay, only this is the remaining part. See, only this is the remaining part. This portion you have cut. So whatever portion here is cut, so this is the remaining portion. When you see from top, the section and top view should be shown in terms of hatching. Like this only we need to show it off. Okay, just draw as it is. So next thing is, uh, we have to draw a line parallel to the cutting plane and we have to get the true shape of the section. So remaining one step is only remaining. So after that, we will be completing the problem. The next step is, as we saw in previous problem, if this is the cutting plane means you have to draw another plane. So we have to draw another new reference line and name it as X1 and Y1. See, X1 and Y1. So this is our new reference plane. It should be parallel to the cutting plane. So this is our first reference plane. This is our new reference plane. This reference plane should be parallel to the cutting plane and away from the front view. If this is the front view diagram means it should be away from it. There is no specific dimension between this. Uh, it's our own wish. We can uh, move it up and draw the line. And there is no specific length for drawing the reference line dot. It should be seen unique and neat. Okay. After that, what you have to do? Take your compass. Keep your compass at here. If P dash means keep your compass here. Measure from this point to 1. So what of distance you are having? Same, you have to cut an arc. Measure from Q dash to 4. Measure and try to cut an arc. Measure from Q dash to 2. From here, try to cut another arc. So I forgot one thing. 
these are the cutting points right you have to extend all the cutting points perpendicular 90 degrees see if one dash is cutting point draw a 90 degree line if two dash is cutting point draw a 90 degree line to some extent if three dash is cutting point draw a perpendicular line to some extent after that you measure and just cut an arc measure q dash from here just keep your uh, compass at here and cut an arc in the perpendicular line measure from q dash to 2 just cut an arc measure from r dash to 3 from here cut an arc so now you got all the four points right just name all the points if this is 1 means 1 1 if this is 2 means 2 1 if the 4 4 dash means 4 1 3 dash means 3 1 so just connect all the points 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 you join all the points and you will be getting a wrong bus so that's what he said so if you measure this length if you measure 1 da, 1 1 and 3 1 means you will be getting 60 if you measure uh, 4 1 and 2 1 means you will be getting 40 so that's what we, they say this is the true shape of the section this is the true shape of the section this is called rhombus it will be having the diagonal as 60 and 40 so 1 1 to 3 1 will be 60 and uh, 2 1 to 4 1 will be 40 so for drawing the, for drawing hatching lines it's very easy only so you can draw anywhere just you draw a reference line and for uh, market point and draw 45 degree and you have to keep this as reference and uh, just hatch it up so hatching angle will be 45 degree and uh, it should be equal spacing it should be equal spacing hashing angle is 45 degree so i hope so it's very clear and uh, for writing the question number you have to use a pro circle this is the heading section of square prism the height of the text is 10 mm uh, here two lines all all dimensions are in mm scale only is to one height of the text is 5 mm and you have to leave a space that is from left hand side 20 mm and the top 10 right side 10 bottom 10 and you have to draw the border for all the diagrams which you are drawing you should draw the border so that it will be looking good and unique so you should present the paper in whatever way and whatever uh, how much ever need as possible as you can so that you will be fetching more mark in case if you have any doubts in this question or problem means you can type in the comment section if you want me to solve a particular problem in a particular topic also just type in the comment section so that i will try to upload as early as possible so do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned with our channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics from all the units we will try to upload the problems and concepts so that it will be very easy for you during your preparation if you feel this video is useful means kindly share the video to all first year students so that it will be very easy and useful for their preparation thanks for watching this video have a great day